All right, uh, this is going to be a fun one. So I have 1 third times 2 ln of x plus 3 plus ln of x minus ln of x squared minus 1. Whoosh. OK, so on simplifying a problem like this, um, again, what I can do is before I raise this 1 third raised to the power, I need to make sure I can combine these. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to use my product rule or my power rule. So therefore, I have ln of x plus 3 squared plus ln of x minus ln of x squared minus 1. The next thing is now I'm just going to work from left to right inside my parentheses. So you can see here I have the product. So I can rewrite or the sum. So therefore, I can rewrite that as the product of one single logarithm. So it'll be ln of x plus 3 squared times x minus ln of x squared minus 1. All right, now the next thing is now I have the difference of two logarithms. I can now rewrite that as the quotient of one single logarithm. So I have 1 third. I'm going to rewrite the x in front. So it would be ln of x times x plus 3 squared divided by x squared minus 1. All right, now you look at this and you try to see, you know, is there anything that you would be able to factor out um, as far as the x's? And there's nothing that I'm aware of. All right. So now I go ahead and take a look. And I have my 1 third. Now remember, now I can rewrite this up top. But remember, 1 third as a rational exponent is the same thing as the third root. So therefore, my final answer is ln of the cube root of x times x plus 3 squared divided by x squared minus 1. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you condense a logarithmic expression into one single logarithm. Thanks.